And we are back, yes, here we go again. Uh, playoff season then is live and is already going on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, it's, uh, it's early in the morning here, but uh, yeah, it's live, the games have started already, and today's uh, team we're going to have a look at is uh, Flash Force of Lexington DD, so happy this guy finally has made the playoffs, and it's not with his Bretonians, his beloved Bretonians who he, he, he plays so well, he has gone with High Elves, so uh, may the Flashiest team win, he says, well, they're certainly swanky. Um, team value 1590, nothing swanky about this team though, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of them do have block though, what's pretty good. Now it's always been an interesting um, debate whether block or dodge first. I always think majority of your players should go dodge first because you don't want to be scrapping with high elves. You want to be moving around the field and um, disengaging more times and not on fighting your own battles. So it's a bit of a worry that he's gone from all block and no dodge apart from on his catcher and his blitzer. So that is a major negative um, in my eyes. People might disagree with me. But uh, the lack of dodge there, 59 TV, but he does have 13 players for that. So he's, he's gone down the route that, you know what, my, my elves might not be as swanky as some of the other uh, elves in the competition, but you know what, I've got a bench. So um, there's a very good chance I'm going to have 11 players on the on the pitch more times than not. What is always a, a, a dangerous thing for the opponent, because obviously the, the whole idea with elves is you try and whittle them down as quick as you can. And... Um, and get the numbers advantage well you're not gonna really have well it's gonna be hard to do that against Lexington D's uh, high elves so that is a big plus there for them but obviously that is reflected in team value 15 nanny but against a lot of teams the the TVs are crazy anyway so uh, he, he would get um, a, a lot of inducements uh, against a lot of teams unfortunately he's come up against the dwarfs so in a way um, his, his philosophy of picking block has worked out perfectly for the first round because obviously if he'd gone with dodge it would have been useless against most of the, the dwarfs so um, on, on this occasion block has, has come out on top instead of dodge just because he's, he's drawn dwarfs L further on down the line he, he may pay for it but let's try and get past the dwarfs first there so um, like I said no frills um, his catcher he's gone by the uh, wrestle tackle route so that catches there to try and get the ball loose the other one is he will guard on um, and he's got dodge as well. Guard's pretty. I mean, guard's always important um, on a on any sort of elf team. To be fair, the the thing with this team is just not developed enough. I think it. Uh, my impression, and he may be able to tell us otherwise, but I think he got onto a good record, like seven and zero or something like that. and He sat on it. The other problem with that is, yeah, he will get you to the playoffs, especially if there's no competition. But the problem is, you'll get to the you'll get to the playoffs. You, you, your team's not developed. You know, it can be done. Sagal's shown it can be done. But it took him a lot of goals to, to, to finally win one. And I always think, you know, it, it's always tough. I mean, if you'd have took the two elves off um, on the bench, that would be 140k distributed around the other elves. That might be in a better use of TV. But I could understand why he's gone for the extra bench because I'm the same. I hate having 11 players. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, it, it's small steps. Get into the players first what he has done. So that's fantastic. So it, it, can, it can now... How can I put it? Experience what the playoffs about the pressures and and the love affair of of the playoffs and get to um, mingle with a lot of the top coaches as well and and bang heads with them. And you know, I I certainly wouldn't put him off um, going through the next round. I tipped his opponent TGV Major because he's a very good coach and I think Dwarfs against this team um, will do well. But you know, Lexington is 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 improving all the time as a coach and. Uh, I, I wouldn't put him off uh, uh, going through. Um, I'm, I'm just a bit worried that his team's not very developed. Um, he hasn't got a, a stadium upgrade. Eight wins, one draw, one loss. It's a fantastic record. Um, his only loss was to the Ghost of Nagel. But look at that. Beat, he beat 5-1 uh, ST Strength Death Troopers, who were at the time was closing on trips and wildcard spot the Chorfs. And... Uh, Lexington gave them a mortal blow and basically stopped um, really the death troops from getting them um, that spot. So that that result alone to me stands out fantastic. That is a massive result. But then you look at things like against Goblins and his two two. So <laughs> you know swings and roundabouts. This guy definitely has potential to um, to do well. 
and uh, I do wish him well. He's got a nice throw there with uh, obviously accurate and movement seven will help. And he's got kick as well on one of his guards, so uh, we'll we'll see how he goes. And um, you know, best of luck to eight fan factor. Nothing wrong with that. Three team rerolls and apothecary. But the question is, can Lexington um, can Lexington D do what Gimlick did last season? First time in the playoffs, wins the championship. Thank you very much. Eh? Can Lexington do it again? Can Lightning strike twice? We're going to find out. Shortly. Take me right back to the start.